Hello and welcome to the learning series, Care Interventions for People Living with Dementia During the COVID-19 Pandemic, presented by the Federation of Quebec Alzheimer's Societies. My name is Diane Lozon. I am a certified uh, trainer and family counselor at the Alzheimer's Society Laval, and I will have the pleasure of presenting this capsule, Daily Cognitive Stimulation for People Living with Dementia. Uh, what is uh, cognitive stimulation? So it's a set of means to improve a person's mental abilities, maintain them, and delay their decline. There are six types of strategies, decisional, sensory stimulation, spatial and time orientation, as well as praxis and gnostic stimulation strategies. Keep in mind that every interaction offers the opportunity to use cognitive stimulation strategies that can turn into a person-centered activity. So we can ask ourselves, how much choice in life do we as care attendants give people living with dementia? Despite our best care interventions, we may sometimes be taking away their choice on matters that affect their everyday life. In such case, giving them back the power to make their own decisions and their own choices is essential to improve their empowerment, self-esteem, confidence, and well-being. It helps people living with dementia preserve self-expression, tap into their personal resources, and experience their ability and exercise, excuse me, exercise their ability to choose and decide for themselves. So the decisional strategy, there are certain precautions to take. So we'd like to limit the number of choices uh, to prevent needless tension. So two is often enough. Um, or we could also try the yes, no uh, questions. So uh, questions where uh, the answers are simple. Uh, never force the person to decide. So show creativity to obtain a favorable response uh, if the person has difficulty deciding. Uh, offer choices in a clear manner using a verbal and nonverbal cues and avoid open-ended questions like what would you like to wear? Um, it's a series of uh, little things we can do anytime and several times a day per day. Uh, so we can let the person choose, for instance, how to organize uh, her belongings, her personal belongings, uh, which TV program to watch or radio station to listen to, uh, to participate or not in an activity, uh, which piece of clothing they'd like to wear, or uh, the moment where they'd like to bathe. Sensory stimulation strategy. So this is a strategy, strategies, uh, that, a strategy that is useful uh, for people who have difficulty to connect with the world around them. It helps them to relax and feel safe as well as improve mood, self-esteem, and well-being. It consists of using everyday objects to arouse one or more of the five senses to trigger uh, positive feelings. So it helps people with dementia uh, tap into their uh, re residual sensory abilities and feel pleasure through a wide range of sense, images, sounds, tastes, and sensations. So there are certain precautions we'd like to take. Um, make sure there are no prior issues with eyeglasses, dental device, or hearing aid. Uh, we like to stimulate one sense at a time using only one stimulus and limit distractions that other distractions that may interfere with the concentration. So we can use it on a daily basis. We'll use familiar material during activities of daily living. So food, toiletries, clothing, outdoor items, and so on. 
Um, for example, we can say, uh, can you smell that delicious apple pie? Uh, does it taste good? In turn, this can trigger positive uh, past memories, uh, becoming a person-centered approach activity, so reminiscent. Uh, another example would be, look how red the strawberries are, what a lovely blue, blue sweater you're wearing, uh, feel how soft your pajama is, do you hear the birds chirping or the music playing? Uh, you could also have uh, the person manipulate different objects and various textures linked to her interests, so maybe touch a ball of wool if uh, knitting was something she loved. Detail the experience allowed in, allowed in order to help the person focus on the stimulation. Spatial orientation strategy. So as, the, as dementia progresses, people affected by the illness often lose the notion of space. They may become confused about where they are or how to find their way back. The, special, the spatial orientation strategy helps people engage in and connect with their surroundings. It's a strategy where locations and current surroundings are frequently pointed out and mentioned in everyday conversations. It helps people living with dementia recognize their surroundings and use reference points, signs, and symbols. The precautions to take, we'd like to keep a recognizable items in the same place, including those in the bedroom. Um, on a daily basis, we'd like to show and tell the same key reference points. Uh, for example, if Mrs. Jones doesn't, uh, if, if Mrs. Jones says she doesn't live here, uh, we could reassure her. We could use a compassionate touch and walk uh, with her. Um, uh, for example, saying uh, we are leaving the sitting room to go to your room. We're taking the yellow hallway. Here's your room, the one with the flower wreath on the door. So we're going to name, 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 point, show, reference points. Um, hang pictures on or written signs on the wall to on the walls to provide information on the location and also the direction to take. Uh, in casual conversations, we're going to name, uh, name your location and cue the person as to the setting around her. We're going to accompany the person in exploratory behavior, especially in less frequented areas. Time oriental, uh, orientation uh, strategy. Um, it's not uncommon for people with dementia to lose the notion of time. They may believe it's many years ago or that they are much younger than they are. Time orientation strategy helps stimulate awareness of the passage of time by frequently providing in daily conversation information regarding time, past and present events, moments of the day, dates, months, season, and so on. It helps people living with dementia recognize themselves in a timeline uh, remain connected with reality and make sense of the world around them. So if we look at the example here, good morning, Mrs. Jones, it's time for breakfast. Uh, precautions to take, we want to avoid confronting the person uh, whose reality in time is altered. So we, we wouldn't want to say, for instance, that uh, tell her that her mother uh, has been deceased, uh, the mother that she would like to see uh, has been deceased now, uh, has passed away for 20, since, for t since 20 years. Uh, if she, instead we'd validate her emotions and reassure her, uh, for instance, you really miss your mother, don't you? Uh, she's not here right now, but I get to enjoy your lovely company. How about talking to me about her? Um, live in the moment, one day at a time, one hour at a time. Uh, this also increases your own awareness of the time passing by uh, to better cue uh, the information uh, to the person. Use on a, on a daily basis, so provide tools and methods to keep track of time. So calendar, uh, newspaper, clock, bulletin board. 
maintain a securing routine. Of course, a regular schedule offers a reference in time. Name the hour and the moment of the day in connection with the activity taking place and the people participating. Uh, for instance, did you enjoy your lunch, Mrs. Jones? It's almost one o'clock. And like every Saturday afternoon, we are going to a musical event. Mrs. White and Mrs. Smith will be there. Praxis stimulation strategies. Um, apraxia stems from the term praxis, which refers to the ability to perform simple movements or a sequence of coordinated movements, uh, like draw a picture or make the sign of the cross. So we use it to help people living with dementia maintain their abilities to manipulate objects in a particular order for a specific purpose. Um, so if we look at the example here, your daughter is leaving. Uh, do you want to wave goodbye uh, from the window? Uh, this is an example of a symbolic gesture, a hand wave used to, uh, for hello and goodbye, um, where we mimic the gesture uh, to show the person how it So there are certain precautions to take. Uh, we'd like to break down the task into smaller single action steps to be able to successfully complete them. Uh, for instance, uh, when it's time to get dressed, we can lay out clothing in the order that each item should be put on um, and hand the person one item at a time with, a, with simple instructions such as uh, put your arm in the sleeve uh, rather than here, put this on. Um, provide the minimum number of items required to perform the task. For example, at mealtime, serve only one dish at a time uh, with the required utensils. So if we're beginning with soup, maybe we could just put the bowl of soup down and uh, with one utensil, so the spoon. Uh, we could use this on a daily basis, help initiate the first gesture to trigger the logical sequence of actions to follow. We're going to adapt our daily routine to the person's motor skills, and we're going to show by example so the person can copy uh, our actions. Gnostic stimulation strategy. So agnosia stems from the term gnosis. Uh, which uh, refers to the ability to perceive an object thanks to our different senses, um, vision, hearing, and touch, uh, then to recognize it. So uh, the disease alters the ability to recognize familiar faces, for instance, a favorite song, a spoon, or a certain body part as being our own. The Gnostic stimulation strategy helps people living with dementia recognize and, and identify familiar persons, sounds, objects, shapes of objects, and body parts. It's a strategy, it's a strategy that encourages uh, object manipulation as well as frequently pointing out and mentioning particular elements in daily conversation. Oh, I forgot to look at the example here. Here in the example, we have uh, Mrs. Jones. It's time to take your shower. Here is the soap and your washcloth. Okay, so there are certain precautions to take. Uh, know if the person is left or right-handed. Uh, we want to make sure also that there are no issues related to hearing or sight. And of course, we want to always use familiar items. On a daily basis, what we're gonna do is name the persons, name body parts while getting dressed or taking baths, name sounds, uh, shapes uh, of objects while they're being manipulated, uh, and so on. Okay. 
So that's it. So thank you very much for your time. Um, for further information, please contact the Alzheimer's Society in your region. There are 20 across Quebec to help and support you. Uh, you can also visit the website alzheimerquebec.ca uh, or send an email to um, info at alzheimerquebec.ca. Thank you very much.